Hey everybody, what's up? It's um, nearly the end of July, coming rolling into August, so I thought I would do the August Earth Predictions video for you all. I'm going to be away shortly for um, the beginning of August, so it's just um, being done while I have some spare time. So the cards are laid out in front of you, I pulled them about a week ago. And I have just been sitting on the energies and seeing what sort of messages come to mind. Because in particular, these two, the Mother and the Money card, are not ones that um, have popped up often in the reading. And I'm still sort of contemplating the total energies of them. I think for August, we have a sort of a, a smoother feeling, if you like. We've got a lot of... Um, earth looking cards as if we're dealing with matters back on the earth as opposed to out into space and for the last several months we've had so much space feeling around us you know to do with um, asteroids or meteorites or planes or space technology it, it energies along those lines whereas this feels a lot more grounded as if it's more to do with earth herself when we see the first card here the mother card I'm thinking of Earth, Mother Earth and Gaia. So is August going to be more focused on something about our planet and what's going on and how we're treating it or information that we learn about it? We can, always, we can also assume the Mother card does get this association to do with families, women issues or rights, family rights and children of course because children are in the picture here. It could involve something along the lines of new laws or new insights or improvements into the lives of perhaps females or children somewhere globally around the world. Consequently, it could also involve the other negative type of energies, but I guess we're just going to have to wait and see that. I noticed the beautiful big amethyst um, healing stone is right above the mother card, so I'm going to assume that's also some healing energy for Mother Earth being directed out and um, healing energy for females and children on the planet. We come to this next card here and we see money, they're gold or silver coins buried under the ground and there's a farmer in the background ploughing or tilling his land under sort of cold arduous looking conditions. Now it makes one think of money being in lack and the, the cards often don't necessarily mean the readings when we're doing these earth readings but I do think of this as something coming up out of the ground because we, it's been hidden and it's being unearthed and it's moving so I think sometimes we're talking of earth movement one way or another and finding things maybe hidden art, ancient artifacts or ancient cities we might stumble across some new ones or information pertaining to parts of our history that we weren't aware of as well as finances probably being stuck somehow grounded so maybe August we see a pullback in the financial sector again yet we've been struggling with this for the last few months and it feels as though things have cleared a little bit with the um, the Greece finances, for instance, being sort of restabilized again, and um, the Chinese dollar issues haven't quite, um, they've stabilized also a little bit. So I'm not sure where this message of money going under and becoming tight again is actually coming from, but that will also be worth looking at. We see this card here, and it's the Voyage card, and it often gives us two messages about the sea, or boats, so big vessels. So there could be something to do with boats during the month of August, unusual incidents along those lines. And our oceans, so the movement on our oceans. Now whether this is weather related, such as really big tropical storms that are brewing, or um, sea movement in one way or another that is unusual or unexpected. So that could relate to quake movements based in the sea, or even tsunami related issues. And we also look up here and see the sun, or what I um, image to be a sun, and we see these strong rays coming down. So it could relate somehow to solar interaction, because we know that the sun is intrinsically linked with us, and what the sun does affects us in many ways, including, you know, large solar storms, or um, coronal mass ejections, or episodes like that on the sun actually affect us. 
and I sometimes think of these rays as being directed in areas around the globe and this appears to be sort of somewhere up through the northern hemisphere, the older parts of the globe, maybe around Europe or something like that. So sometimes there can be incidences that occur up there and they could be quake related or just something unusual that would be unexpected. We come to this card here, the scales card, and it talks primarily about balance, so requiring balance, and we see, we think we come back here to this card, and we see that the money is not in balance, so, and then we come over here, and we're looking at balance again, and it does make me think something might be out of balance for August, is it either our financial scales, or is it some other form of balance that we're looking at? I often have associated this card in the past with quakes and shaking because I'm thinking of things being out of balance. So that might be one to look at. Also I think of the family tree. So we've got two messages here in the reading about family issues maybe. So maybe there's something about the family values or families that are out of balance and things go awry with them. That could be mass compassion events or you know, sad occurrences within families that um, uh, that have been created from an out of balance situation. We come to this last card and we see the beast. It's often associated with underground hidden energies. Um, sometimes I think of this as the communist countries and perhaps them behaving in a manner that is unexpected or making some sort of possibly aggressive move. They're in the headlines a little bit more than they would normally be perhaps. Or it could be some sort of leader around the world who's considered to be a bit of a beast, making headlines one way or another. We also think of this because it's underground, it's red, it's fiery, volcanic movement, tunnels being trapped underground. Um, th this card and this card work really well, you know, the whole movement of underground things. When I said quakes before, it could very well be volcanic activity again surging to the... Um, for all, because we've had so much volcanic activity this year, things seem to be really active and rumbling along. We come to this card up here, just one extra that was lying on its side, and it's an unusual card, it's called the Inquirer. Now, I don't usually have it in the deck, but it seemed to be in the deck for this reading, and it really represents the person who's doing the reading, which is myself, and it means any area around the inquirer so if you think I'm coming or reading this from New Zealand it could mean issues to do with New Zealand or my direct neighbours which are Australia and the Pacific Islands and including myself in New Zealand so there could be something that happens in the month of August pertaining to these areas around the planet and it could be I guess any one of these um, cards that are exuding this energy I see here it's popped, I've ended up sitting it on top of the voyage card and a little bit on the scale. So is there movement coming somewhere in my part of the globe for the month of August? That might be the thing that I would be thinking of. So anyhow guys, thank you very much for listening. I love reading all your comments and your thoughts and your input as well. It all goes towards the greater picture and the whole understanding and the energy of these readings. They're not about me, they're about... Um, the planet really and just the feeling that's sort of moving around the planet for each month as we look into these readings. So take care all, have a wonderful August ahead and I look forward to seeing you again. Kia kaha, much aroha and be safe.